Quite a number of you have asked me how I upload my Etsy listings and how I organize my Canva and what I add into the PDF that goes to the customer. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you all of that. The first thing I wanna show you is how I organize my Canva. So right now I have 25 listings in total on Etsy and for each listing, I create a folder so that things aren't just like everywhere. And in each of the folders, there are a couple of things. So one of them is the marketing photos that I will add to the listing here. The next thing is the PDF that the customer gets when they like buy the listing and then they're supposed to like download like a thing, right? To get access to it. And because I'm selling Canva templates, you can't just download a Canva template, right? You have to include the Canva template link in the PDF so the customer gets it. And then another thing is something I just call workspace. It's basically, this is like the first thing I do when I create a new listing. And a workspace is basically the Canva thing that I use to make new listings. So normally, oh, by the way, this is not my niche. This is also not a template that I made. This is one of the, this one is a template that I just got from one of the templates on Canva. So basically this whole tutorial is, you will not be able to find my Etsy shop through this. This is just a template that I found on Canva and I'm using it as like a sample for this tutorial. All the credit of this template goes to Canva. The pink one here is just like an alternative color scheme I made when I was making the marketing photos, which by the way, you can download this template if you aren't sure how to make marketing photos and I also have a really in-depth tutorial on how to do that. So if you want to download it, go to the link in the video. And the other thing I have is the actual template that the customer will get access to. So I usually put that template in capital letters because it's like important, right? It's the thing that the customer gets. So actually for this specific example, I made two sizes for this template. So people who use this template, they could be in North America, so then they would use US letter size or they could be somewhere else in the world and then they they would use A4 size. So when somebody purchases this listing, they will get access to two, basically they look the same, but they're just in different sizes. They'll get the US letter format and then the A4 format. So if you're wondering what is the difference between the workspace and the files that the customer actually gets, the workspace is a place where I kind of like work on things. So I just like made an example here of me trying out different fonts and different colors. If in the finished product, I have some photos. So let's say here, we actually want to add some kind of a photo, maybe like the logo for the spa. Let's say um, we have a logo for the spa. So in the actual template for the customer, I will just have a blank photo here, so no photo. But in the workspace, I will actually put the actual photo. So let's put a photo here. Let's pretend that it's a logo. And so when I go to make my marketing photos, I'm actually going to save the photos from the workspace because it has the demo photo. Oh my God, wow, this is hard to explain. It has the demo photo so that the customer can see what it actually looks like. So I would have like the demo photo, it would have like the actual photo here, but then when it comes to what's actually included in the template, what's included here, I would actually put, I would save this as a photo with nothing there because it's supposed to be a template there, right? So I'm gonna take the blank one and put it into the what's included part. So I hope that clears it up. So the workspace is a place where I make new, where I like um, come up with the design and finalize the design. And then I'm going to save the final sample template and use it in my marketing photos. The one that the customer actually gets has all of the photos deleted. I do keep the text though. I've mentioned before in my videos that I hate lorem ipsum text. So I just keep all the text, but I don't keep the photos. Let me know if any of this is confusing, uh, but this is the way I figured out for how I organize my things. You might have a different way you want to organize and that's totally fine. You should like figure out what works for you. So now let's look at the PDF that the customer will get. So this is a sample that I made. Mine don't actually look like this, but it has all the elements that my PDFs have. The most important thing 
thing is make it clear to the customer that they need to click a link to get access to the template that they bought. I want to show you how you can do this first. What I find helpful is like just to add pictures of the actual template and it's good for me too so I don't like confuse different projects. What you do is basically just download it as a PNG. Like download this whole thing, download all of the pictures as a download the whole template as a PNG and then you can like upload the PNG to this one. And you're also going to reuse the photos in the marketing document. So yeah, you're going to have to do that anyways. Right here, I have the A4 template and I have the US letter template. So each of them have a link. So I'm going to click share template link and then copy. This one is the A4 one. So I'm going to put the A4 one here. So click this link. I'm going to highlight it and then command K to add a, a hyperlink and then command V and then enter. So now the template link is linked. And one more thing that I want to do is add an actual link just in case for some reason it doesn't work. So I always use tinyurl.com. It's free. It just like shortens links. And then I'm going to copy this one and then put it here. Okay, there, tiny URL. So now the customer can click either that one or they can click this one. And then sometimes you might have like some bonus thing. So you can also add that in. So just for example, somebody might have a bonus demo video of how to use Canva. So you can add that in and then add the link and then add the link to like the YouTube video or whatever bonus thing you're going to add. So then once you're done this, you're going to save it as a PDF. So download as a PDF standard. Make sure you don't click flatten PDF because if you click flatten, it gets rid of all the links. So don't click flatten. So I just click PDF standard. So now it's like downloading. And now we can add that to our listing later. So I'm going to go to my marketing photos and download all of the images. Uh, wait, select all, not page one and not page 10. Done. I'm going to download all of them. Okay, so I'm going to add all of those. Open. Okay, and you can adjust the thumbnail if you want to move it around. For the video, um, I'm not going to upload a video right now, but I have a video for all my listings. If you want to learn how to make a video for your template, then watch my other tutorial after you watch this one. So I'll skip that one for now. And then for title, you're going to put in, you should have done some research before this, so making sure it is SEO friendly. Uh, for now, we'll just put um, price list Canva template. Okay, I'll just do that for now, but when you're actually going to do it, you're going to make it good for SEO and then use up all the characters. Okay, so who made it? I did. What is it? A finished product. When did you make it? Yeah, recently. So I searched price list and there's like a couple of options. So let's just pick one that makes sense. Maybe template, maybe the first one then. I don't, I don't know if it really matters, but let's just put that. Primary color. I don't really put that. Uh, I think it might be just for like items in general. And then I skip all these. I always do automatic and then type is digital. And then for the description, we're going to skip it, but the description is pretty important. Uh, maybe I'll make another video about this description, but let's skip it for now. And then I skip all these tags. I always add tags. So let's just put price list Canva template. Oh no, price list Canva, price list template, salon price list, spa price list. Okay, and then you're going to keep adding it until you've maxed out the tags. Materials, I don't do that. And then price, you're going to put your price. Quantity, I always put 999. I think that is the maximum because it's a digital download. So put 999. And then personalization, no. And digital files. Then you're going to upload the PDF that we downloaded. So we added the PDF that we made and then no returns marketing. Yeah, I'm going to advertise this listing and then that is it. That is how I upload everything. So the most time consuming part of this process is actually making the marketing photos and it's time consuming because you got to make it really good. Like the marketing listing photos are so important because it's like the first impression that your potential customers will get. And these are basically like the photos that they're going to look at to decide whether or not they want to buy your product. So if you are not sure how to make good marketing photos, make sure you watch this video because it's an in-depth tutorial on how I do my marketing photos. And you can also download this entire template and use it to make your marketing photos as well.